Resorts in the Brainerd Lakes area are teaming up with Brainerd Schools to get special education students into the workforce. Our Sarah Winkleman takes us to the new Brandon Project Training Academy where the students get hands-on experience. There's a golden opportunity here. Cut it, cut it right down the middle. It's all about building a sustainable workforce. By teaming up with one of the major industries in the area, hospitality. If we're going to be training our young adults, then we needed places for them to try out their skills. A space at the Brainerd High School South Campus that has served a variety of purposes in the past is equipped with all the necessary tools. The students are able to sit and practice uh, removing it and then uh, reattaching it again because this is the piece that gets laundered. Using the commercial kitchen lets students put on the apron and work as if they were employed at one of the resorts. With the eventual goal of the students who are ready, willing, and able will be interviewed in May to go into employment this summer. And lots of dishes and cups and onions and wash tables. We need employees and they're looking for employment, so it's a win-win. Both Rutgers and Craigens Resorts are on board with a new Brandon project. They've already made um, a trip out to our resort to take a look at our kitchens and our rooms and have learned how we want certain things done. So to see them bringing it back here and, and learning and training and practicing is, is just, I'm so excited, I can't wait for this. The program focuses on housekeeping and working in the kitchen. Make food, clean tables. The program hopes to place about five to eight students with employment at the two resorts. It's a big challenge, but it's exciting to see the potential for the students and for their families. It is so exciting. It is so exciting. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeman News. All the students in the Brandon Project are ages 18 through 21. Looks like a great program. It sure does. Look good food, like good food there too. Uh, well, Looks good as well. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.